that were once property and treat them as people. And it starts with George Grimes. You see, this was a friendship that started out as an ownership. You see, and George hit the ground running. Our research leads us to believe that in 1865, when George hit the ground running, he starts planting his own cotton. 1868, he starts negotiating cotton for George Milan Davis. 1870, 1870, he starts negotiating 2,000 acres of land, 122 employees for George Milan Davis. George Milan Davis simply states, the way through my cotton king is through George Grimes. That is that change, a living change. You see, in 1883, this change takes the ultimate infrastructure of this period. Because in December the 17th, 1847, their ships met and they dropped their anchors into the muddy waters of history. In 1883, George Milan Davis is dying. They've been together 37 years, inseparable. It is then on his deathbed. In that period of this deathbed, a token of appreciation changes hands. George Milan Davis, he gives George Grimes a token of this appreciation from not a owner and ownership, but two men and two friends. He presents him with a 24 karat gold watch. And it reads on this watch, there were three people present. George Milan Davis Kelly, George Milan Davis' grandson, his deceased daughter's husband, Dr. Stephen Kelly, and George Grimes. Now on this watch, in the infrastructure of this presentation, 24 karat gold, and he says it 